Alrighty guys, so last episode we uh, hosted the Diggy contest and we built this thing here. And this episode I have a really epic project planned. Um, and that project requires a hole in the side of the wall right here. Uh, this needs to be expanded quite a bit. So let's get to it. And kabam, look at that guys. The hole's done. Uh, yep. So... Let's have a quick look from the, the this area up here. Have a look. Boom! I know, it's just like a big slot. But uh, trust me, it's not going to be that big of a room at the, in the end of this project. Now, what project do I have planned? Well, guys, I am super proud to announce a new super smelter design. This is something I'm super proud of. Um, so actually, let's go into a creative world and let me show you guys. All right, so this is the super smelter design. Now, this isn't the exact one I'm gonna build on the server. This is a 80 furnace array. And uh, the beauty of this um, design here is that it is modular and can be expanded. So um, by the time you guys are seeing this video, I will have made a tutorial on this thing right here. And uh, everything should be explained in that tutorial. So I'll put a little note card right up at the top right hand corner of the screen. And I will also put a link in the description below. However, a quick explanation is that we use some uh, redstone logic to tell us when uh, to send minecarts and how to manage um, fuel distribution, etc, etc, etc. So basically the brain is over here and the you know smelter part is over here where you know the player can just uh, expand it so um that's the design let's go ahead and build this up on the server Alrighty guys, so here it is in all its glory and I've started decorating the room around it with some lava, some uh, magma blocks, and some red nether brick, um, and some basalt. And I wonder how we got all this basalt. Well, I went ahead and built a basalt generator. I followed Il Mango's tutorial on his simple, efficient basalt generator. Um, and it's in the nether because lava flows faster in the nether. And then it, we're just running it off of a clock, and then all this stuff goes into these chests here. Um, and of course, I honestly, I'm just going to let anyone use this. I don't really see a need to make basalt something you sell. Uh, so all you got to do is come up here, click the lever, come up to this area, and then just hold down right or left click here. And yeah, it works like a charm. Uh, so yeah, basically my plan is to have a glass floor above this area the glass is probably only going to come out to here actually so this whole area here isn't really going to be visible um, but that's kind of the point is it's just uh, there's going to be a glass over top the redstone here so we're going to have different stuff in this room up here where we can you know put stuff and things i don't know uh, we're going to have a loading area for fuel um, on either side and um, there's some redstone that i still have to add to this but as of now, it actually would smelt if we filled it up, but currently um, I want to make the room look a bit nicer and do a bit of that. So obviously underneath here, we're doing good. And then we're going to have the bubble stream up here to get our items. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the uh, building of this. All right, guys. So I've decorated a lot of this with all the underbelly type of deal. Um, yeah, I think it looks really awesome with the magma blocks, the lava, the lava streams, and things like that. And then we have this little entrance thing where we put all our items. And then this is where the water, the items are gonna come back up. 
and then this the entrance to the room is going to be in line with this okay so in this uh build here i wanted to make the room very orange and uh smelting kind of focus so i included furnaces and blast furnaces in the walls here and i made sure to include a lot of orange and light sources to show the kind of smelter feel and then as you can see I just started making the room a bit more concise. I did a whole uh, ceiling with trapdoors and then I went ahead and uh, decorated the top with some just some basic patterns and then I went ahead and redid some of these pillars to look a bit better and also so that I can include some an easy entrance to the fueling up area. Um, anyways this kind of is how the room is going to look now. I think this is a great first room to our base. Um, yeah, the smelter room. Pretty cool. Fuel time. Fuel it up. And it's cooking time, guys. Oh yeah, let's test this thing out. Alright, we're gonna have to do this uh, like this. And there it is, all of the fuel. Oh man. Oh man, it's working. Beautiful. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, we got stuff coming up already. Oh boy. Oh man, this is awesome. Oh, look at this. I'm so excited. This is awesome, guys. <laughs> oh man. It finally is working. All the work paid off, everybody. Yeah, so standing here, you actually don't get any of the noise. You get a little bit here. You only get the noise when you want to look at the machine, but really, we're only going to be over at this section here. This is really all we need, but I wanted to see the machine. Wait a minute, is this side working? Oh yeah, okay. Good. Cool, guys. It finally works. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, guys, so... Aha! We have some decorations done. <laughs> um, Yeah, I actually really like this. I think... The orange and uh, the black and the gray and the brown go really well together. I think I've really done a good job here of just kind of freestyling this up. Um, I don't know how much of my base is going to look like this, but from a distance, it looks really cool. Um, so, uh, obviously, this bottom section here, right here, is going to get covered up. But... Um, and so this whole layer is going to get mined out eventually all the way around to this side as you can see I've started right there um, and then we're going to have uh, you know layers on top of this one and on top of this one and on top of this one and probably not as much below because this took a lot of space but we're going to have our storage floor right here boom a huge floor about storage probably on this corner and on this side we're going to have something else but yeah, this is essentially the start of the base, and I really like the block palette I've used so far. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of different block palettes in this base, because there's no particular theme. I'm thinking about, if you guys have seen the show Rick and Morty, there's that green portal that they do. I'm going to do that here in the bedrock with glass and, and fog effects. It's going to look really cool. So yeah, there's also going to be green in this build. There's going to be a lot of different colors, and I'm thinking about using a lot of stripped logs and things um i wanted to theme each thing around what it actually does so i think the fire and the orange for the smelter is a really good choice um and this thing works like a charm you just chuck the items in here and you get them back here as you guys saw has this ever happened to you well chances are it probably has but luckily here at pufferfish incorporated we have a solution taking advantage of the hardened shells of shulkers the shulker box was born a ultra durable high blast resistance box that keeps all your items safe come to the shulker shell shop by the river shore and get your shulker box today Dis 
despite having peak marketing, we are not making a lot of sales on the shulker shell or box front. So my idea to take us out of this drought in 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 profits, guys, is uh, well, we need to open a competing shop, guys. Okay, we come over here to demo. Um, we can quickly look at some things that they're selling. Logs. Logs are a really profitable thing, and people want them. Look at that. Someone's already bought some stuff here. Uh, not nobody's selling. They're not selling spruce, I guess. Nobody sells spruce. Good to know. But look at this. Diamonds are being like made. People are like buying stuff. Okay. And it's a diamond for a half a stack. So I was thinking, what if I set a diamond for 48? Oh man. Anyways, I want to build this shop probably not in the center of town. This is just probably not going to work out. What I'm thinking is we build our, our little wood shop over here right next to the demo uh-huh that's exactly right guys we're going to do them very dirty and we're going to build a very simple log shop uh somewhere around here all right so for this build i wanted to go for something a bit more natural um i actually designed this all up so that's why i'm building it layer by layer but as you can see what i wanted to do is i wanted to have it something where it's a bit more open and in the wild and I wanted to do something based on the campfire, so you can see me building these crosses up. And yeah, that's kind of from the campfire, but here is the rest of the shop, and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, aha, uh -huh. this is the shop here, uh, lol, lots of logs, it does not mean anything else. Uh, I don't know what everyone's telling me, it means some other weird laugh out loud, yeah, no, I don't it's it's lots of logs guys okay uh so yeah i actually am really proud of this i did this pretty much all on my own um yeah it's it's just a log shop and i think it's pretty obvious that we sell logs um lol we come over here the sign welcome to lol lots of logs puff industries so if we go over here boom kabam right into this area here well guys it's time to stock up i just decided to change my mind and actually make it one diamond per stack um yeah perfect okay uh so we have all four log types that i wanted to stock up and uh yeah so we're just gonna stock up one barrel of each one of these for now and boom just like that we are stocked up uh for now Alright guys, so we need a villager to take to the raid farm you guys just saw me build up. Uh, so, what we do, we do that. And they should survive. Yep, look at that. Let's go down here with them. Put a boat down here. We only need two, so uh, let's do this boys. And then we break the block. Push him in. Beautiful. Easy peasy, guys. Easy freaking peasy. That's the easiest thing I've done in Minecraft in a while. Okay, uh, now comes the actual challenge of destroying all the water. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, we have Bad Omen. All right, guys, we got some Bad Omen now, so let's go ahead and give this a go. No armor on, uh, just my big bug eyes and a sword. So let's do this. All right, so the raid should get to halfway. Yeah, there we go. 
And now we should see it go completely blank, I, th I hope. Nope, it didn't happen. Something is still off with this thing. <laughs> we should get Bad Omen again. That comes pretty quick. We're not getting Hero of the Village. Which is no bueno. Uh, let, let's try it another round. Guys, I don't know. This is the biggest mystery to me. Uh, <laughs> it might be this water vader here, but it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. The villagers are in the correct location. Like, if we go do this, I mean, this is all wrong because I added that. Uh, we do have a solid block here, so that's not good. Oh, goodness. Okay. I guess I'll just come back after a bunch of testing, guys. I don't I don't know what else to do. My big eyes just need to figure this out. All right, I will be back later. Okay, guys, so I have uh, gone over this thing so much. I can't find any, re any difference. This is the one that works in single player. This is the schematic I built mine off of in the server. And the only difference I added was that water stream, which shouldn't affect this once again. The only reason this that like it just shouldn't affect that uh i guess i could test it without the water stream but i don't know guys i really i am just so confused this is really shown me the frustration people have when they build this in their worlds it's just some random little thing that's not working and i have checked everything so yeah guys uh i i surrender um i do surrender this yeah i have like i said i've checked everything i've checked the items like 20 times i have checked legit everything i've watched this work i've watched the other one work this works in the same exact way uh <laughs> oh my goodness um anyways bye see you guys in the next episode and yeah next episode we're gonna do something fun